well, there's also apparently an unlimited supply of followers coming to the West. So today, the White House said it is reviewing how immigrants are screened. One of the terrorists who killed 14 in California wrote online two years ago of her desire for jihad. Then she got an American visa. Jeff Pegues has more. When Tashfeen Malik applied for a fiancé visa in 2014, she had her name and face checked against terror watch lists. But whether she posted radical views on social media was not checked. Alberto Fernandez, until recently, ran the State Department's program to counter ISIS online. Nowadays, every company that hires is looking through your social media. Yes. Should the government be doing more? Well, this is, the, this is the crazy thing about this debate. You would think that people who are trying to come to the United States, to live in the United States, a privilege that most people don't have, would actually have that scrutiny. The Department of Homeland Security says it began three pilot programs in 2014 to examine whether screening social media was consistent with current laws and privacy protections. Today, government officials dismissed allegations. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson delayed the implementation of new rules because of public relations concerns. A review of the policy is underway. <laughs> Since the attack, some members of Congress have been demanding changes to the visa screening system. Get New York out. Senator Charles Schumer. And had they checked out Tashfeen Malik a little more, maybe she wouldn't have been got, gotten a visa. Even one of the country's largest Muslim organizations is not against increased social media scrutiny. Ibrahim Hooper is with the Council on American Islamic Relations. Measures that target only one faith group, only one ethnic group, or, or uh, people from a certain uh, national origin, that raises concerns and it's also counterproductive to our nation's security. Last year, there were more than 460,000 visas issued. Scott, there are concerns that adding a layer of social media scrutiny could delay the process, hurting tourism and business. Jeff Pegues in Washington. Jeff, thanks.